What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scar Pino. It feels like all NBA back, All Star Weekend. Hey, I know. I feel like I've been on this show in quite some time. It's we missed you. And like, guess what? I've come back a thousand dollars richer. I heard about this, but I only caught the the Tim catching me up version of this. So I want the full story. Are we going to talk about this? We are. Exciting. Over there, he's the man who knew part of the story from Games Daily. <laughs> he's Forbes thirty under thirty, aka. The second best baby blues in San Francisco, a.k.a. the good haircut Mm -hmm. at Tim Gettys. The wind is doing damage to me. I'm fighting the wind today. You usually shellac so well. Yeah. 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 Because you're lotioned, baby. Well, Ben lotion, though. Yeah, but you got to be, you got to get that Gorilla Glue or whatever the hell. Yeah. That that Greg put his toes for Andy the other day. Yeah. For those that missed this, about maybe two years ago at this point, I switched over to lotion as my hair product. Has it been two years? It's been a long time. I mean. Really? It's been, it was, yeah, no, it was lotion. after, it was a, a new thing after the pandemic. So, huh. It, I would have, I would have assumed that was just a fad. Like when yeah. I was, when I was a, po- a lollipop guy for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? Where everyone's favorite fad. When <laughs> I was buying a lot of lollipop guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was buying a lot of lollipops. Yeah. No, it uh, works. It, it works dude, great. Like I, I, I prefer it to um, just gel or any of the other stuff that I product just, that I How I've does used. it not make you dandruff? You know what I mean? I feel like the I feel like the lotion would harden on the hair, and then if you did one of these or touched it, it would just... it, it doesn't. I mean, I don't. It, it does scale. weight less than product would at least. Like before, product like yeah, you know, can get kind of bad. This is actually it's kind of nice. It moisturizes. I don't I don't know if it's hey man, I'm not yeah yeah. I'm not, um, again, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do. I will say though, it's been working. It's way cheaper, and so a lot of a lot of pros. But my problem was uh, I ran out of my my giant tub that I've been using forever. Um, and so now I'm Jerkin using some of Gia's Jerkins. more fancy you know Loxiton <laughs> stuff. Oh, wow. You're using Loxiton? Uh, just a little bit for right now. It's going to last me that's like good. approximately a week more. Uh, smells really good. Been getting a lot of compliments. Got compliments from both of them separately. Uh, so that made me happy. But just about the smell alone. Do you right. want a third? Go sniff. You want a third? Go sniff. sniff. No, 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 no we might have blown it away. Sniff but sniff if you would like to sniff. There's still some in Real yeah. good, yeah. Andy. Yeah. Hit the front of his head. Go and sniff. Give a little front run on the tiff. Sniff and a little delight. Is it shea buttery? It's a I little like delight. That. That's mm-hmm. good. Good yeah. enough to eat, and I take a bite. <laughs> does, does Kevin still have an inn at Loxaton? No, <laughs> I didn't work no, there. I I <laughs> How many years say. ago was it you worked there? Yeah, but no. it's Kevin's. So I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if he kept the lady. That shit's expensive. I, you know? It's one of those things. I worked there for a long time, two years, maybe more. I don't recommend that product. Well, at least <laughs> really? like the, the, the skincare lines that they had. I knew a lot of people that would take it home. Yeah. And like, I swear. It was a deteriorating effect with the the golden immortal one. Oh, I use I have a the in what way? What, I have what? a little thing of the, the hand, hand cream, cream in my car. No, at no, all no the times. hand cream it. is incredible. I love the hand. Rub cream. that all over your body. The milk concentrate, phenomenal. Okay, but I'm talking about <laughs> shocker. The, the divine cream, I don't recommend that to anyone. The <laughs> golden, talk, little are, golden jars. You guys are making fun of us. This is fucking really good information for me. Like, <laughs> this is very pertinent to my being. I will be good. I, mean, yeah. I wish we had the hookup because, like, I I love this uh, thing that I'm temporarily using in between going back to Whole Foods and buying literally just the biggest thing that they have uh, that'll last me like a year, uh, which I've been rocking. Uh, and people in the chat are like, "Wait, why, Tim?" Uh, because I was at a party a couple of years ago and I saw someone, Stephen Rhodes, um, who uh, a writer on Iron Man, the upcoming what? <laughs> <laughs> the upcoming uh, EA game, what? Iron Man, and he had the most incredible hair I've ever seen uh, in a very similar style to mine. I was like, fuck, that's, you just that's look the like template. the way better version of me. What is your secret? And then he told me his secret uh, that he was like, oh, like somebody he knows uh, told him they just use lotion. And I was like, well, mm. they also have amazing hair. This is wild. I'm going to try it. And Idiot. then I never looked back. Quick, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just have you ever heard this story before? No, no, no. Nick, the, the, please let Andy answer. Yeah, this sounds familiar. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard this story before. I think he's making it up right now. About, See, here's I'm, why I giggled. It's because I'm having one of those kind of funny <laughs> podcasts. And granted, I got like no sleep last night. But I uh-huh. had one of those kind of funny podcasts. It kind of feels like it's from the movie Coherence. You ever see this? Go ahead now. The one, the alternate reality thing. Watch it tonight. It's great. Oh. Space is sci-fi? Uh, it's sci-fi. It's not in space. It's, it's here. It's in, it's in America. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's that thing sci-fi where it's only like, takes place on planets. <laughs> Different planets. That, ever I feel like I've jumped realities, uh-huh. but and there's only minor differences where when you're like, I'm getting a lot of compliments on my, my hair. I was like, I should go smell it. And he's like, they, those two liked it. I was like, I have no recollection of this. And then you're like, oh yeah, I talked to this guy at a party and you, I could have sworn I've heard this story before and it was Zach Ryan. So well, I was like, yeah. ah, <laughs> like I, so, how, are, how are all the facts I know wrong? <laughs> this is the movie. Fucking so, bomb ass movie. Go watch it. Uh, Steve, Steven, uh, asked Zach, where'd you get, like, what do you do with your right. hair? So it all goes back to Zach Ryan. Exactly. And it's it. just like, has, has went, I've never personally talked to Zach about this, though. So <laughs> I, I was really, I've never personally talked to Zach. No, <laughs> but, so now, so I've been using uh, the lotion for a long time, and I've been really liking it. And a lot, of, a lot of pros, pretty much zero cons. I don't think there is a con. There might be something ruined in my head that I don't know about, but that's not happening. So it's so, so far, so good. But the one problem is we're in a damn windstorm right now that's just the craziest thing. Where we're like we're in a giant cement building right now and i'm feeling the thing sway yeah, so my hair cannot handle it and so I, i've been beat down me nick and <laughs> mike were out today for lunch and like it was very scary it might as well have been twisters in in real life right now we were at the, the habit uh yeah. the burger place oh, yeah. Yeah. and oh mike stay off uh <laughs> Yes, uh, but we went to the hat. We were eating some burgers. It was a great time, and the glass doors were just slamming around. And oh, someone scary. would open it a little bit. Like I don't think I've yeah. ever heard a door slam that hard. Like it, I, I thought like the whole window was about to shatter. Grown up with my father, and then yeah, we had to walk out. Here we are. <laughs> Jesus. Very sad aside. It got dark. <laughs> my dad never. I'm slammed, doing it. I'm. Never slammed a I. I'm in a weird hair Broke spot. Chase me once though. I've been growing around the sides. I've never, as y'all know, I don't trust the hair on my on the sides of my head or the back of my head balls uh just untrustworthy with it i don't know how it grows out <laughs> right i'm you just learn giving together. him all this good stuff he was nothing nothing he's trying to be mature right you now. you just said the word balls yeah <laughs> give it all <laughs> what am i what stuff? do i want to do with balls. that <laughs> you trust the hair on your balls oh no i said the tr- the, the 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 hair on the side of my head and the yeah, back of so my I hair, said balls. Like, balls do you trust the hair on your balls oh maybe okay <laughs> Maybe if it was framed that and just not one singular I mean, fucking it, <laughs> plural I, I, of I, ball Andy, balls. Andy, I'll be honest with you. Normally I'm on Greg's side. No questions answered. And I got it, but I'm I don't want to get it. I'm getting it. a fucking poke. <laughs> oh, man, he's getting a cup. But yeah, so it's just, it's been growing out and I've been, I, I don't, it always feels very wiry on the mm-hmm. sides of my head. I'm just like, I don't know what it's going to do, what direction. Mm. And now I'm getting, it's getting long enough to where I'll wake up and it's like, Oh, that's how I sleep because this fucking side is just like sticking up now. But do I? I'm just in a weird spot with it. I don't know if I want to keep letting it grow like longer to what Greg has on the side of his head. Uh, it's just it's a questionable. I don't think so I can I'm, handle it if you change your hairstyle. No, I can't. Well, hairstyle, no. But so a, a couple days ago, got my hair cut, and when I did, I, I was cuts. telling these guys about. Of course, super unlimited pass. pass. I have the unlimited pass, baby. I got. This they got thing. a movie pass. They got a movie pass, dude. I am down to paying for. Fifteen dollars a haircut, like max, and that's with tip. It's crazy out here. Whoa. Okay. Um. Anyways, I, I get it oh, done, dude. and uh, <laughs> coke tastes a little different. More, <laughs> more evidence of the universe, Joe. I'm just without. Greg <laughs> Tip is talking, and I took a glance at Craig. He's just. <laughs> like an iguana with the, I, I don't know if Greg knows he's here right now yeah. <laughs> Okay, keep going uh, But I, I was telling these guys Which is when they, like, right after they complimented me on, on the smell of my hair that they don't remember But I'll never forget Yeah. Um. They're, they're cutting my hair, and this has happened before But it was the first time that As they were shaving, like, I, I'd went a long time without getting a haircut uh, mm. The last time, like, it was like longer than it's been For, for a while I remember yeah. you took off your hat and you're like, look at this It was this. crazy Nick <laughs> <laughs> the patented text Gia a picture of uh, Kurt Russell, Kurt yeah. Russell of like from any '80s movie. Just make him go, make this him be going. In. And I can't do it. Uh, so I, they're shaving the sides, and as the hair's falling on my lap, like on the little like bib thing that I have, it's just pure gray. Yeah, like, pure gray. And I'm like, yeah. oh my god. And like right now, you look at it, and it's like you can't really see because it's all gone. But like, it's just crazy. Like I, when I look in the mirror when I have longer hair, I see like I don't even call it salt and pepper. It's just like there's just a lot of gray hairs in the very brunette hair that I have, everybody. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> it was never blonde. It was just turning gray. That's the problem, okay? But I'm looking down, I'm like, this is, it's it's a little scary, just how gray everything is, how life works that way. But then I'm like, I like this haircut. Things are looking good. I have the, the problem. You have, Andy. Wake up. And things are kind of matted, moving in, in ways that I'm not used to with this new haircut, having hair just on the top, nothing on the sides. And I had the little Andy thing going on. I had the little, like, 
the little front thingy you got. Oh, out. the little yeah, the yeah, little, side, yeah. little like, what, what what are we? What is it? I don't know. I one time <laughs> when I first got hired, Nick was like. It's almost like you are a, like you are a, a a Hasidic Jewish person with like the little sides like the side mm -hmm. curls or whatever the curls yeah kind of like because I used to have it way longer right at a certain point I don't know what I'm doing with it now I don't know what I'm doing I, but see, I love it it's such a, such a signature for you but recently I saw your Instagram stories and you were flirting with something that you flirted with before but I think it's time my friend it's it'll never be time Tim it'll be it'll never oh. be time. His balls. <laughs> Andy Cortez Ball hair needs on his to head. dye his hair. Oh! We, Andy deserves it. What you've color? Been, you've been slowly, Andy, doing what? the transformation into the nitro rifle. That's just who you are as a human being. You got to go full cyberpunk, man. I, I, don't, I don't trust it. I wouldn't do it. I don't trust well, it. So wait, full stop. I, I missed this. I, I watch your stories, but I don't have the sound up a lot. I must have missed that. Oh, it's... it's, it's uh, I don't have the sound up. Sorry. So the question is then... <laughs> I'm just gonna answer the question. You're <laughs> are you talking about bleaching it and just doing one color? Are you doing like highlights? What are you talking about? Uh, I've well, I've always wanted like lighter on top and darker on the sides. Okay, or just not to get any of the sides colored at all, okay. right? Okay. Um, and uh, it's because I I drew myself as one of the Valorant characters, uh, Sova, and he's got like long blonde hair. But I was like, I just wanted like. You know, when I did the hairspray, when I was fucking, we did that Star Wars stream, and it was silver. So cool. And I was like, man, so I want to dye my hair, but, like, all of the hair I got up top, Nick's un Nick understands this. I get it, man. This is, all, this is all for him's pill. Yep. Oh, fucking, yeah. like, very, very. Propped up by Propecia. This is very, like, this hair can go at any minute. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's super sensitive and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and... One thing you go through whenever you use these uh, hair regrowth pills is every once in a while there's like a a moment of shedding where you shed for like a fucking week or whatever, and then it grows back stronger or whatever. But for that week of shedding, you're like, oh, it's all gone it's now. Dead. It's gone. It's never coming back now. And then it does come back. But it's like, I just don't. Now, one thing, though, if I were to fucking like dye it blonde, it would, so, it so would be masked a little bit, you know? Well, you could do the tips. Right, I think that would be safe. It's just when you get down to the roots when you start killing, because because no matter what, like when my wife dyes her hair, she get she'll get breakage if they go yeah. too blonde toward the roots, and it, it's 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 tough, like because it has to, it takes forever to grow back. She granted she doesn't have any hair loss issues like we do, so I would always just be worried that if it gets too like low to the root, that that part will just kind of break away and take months to grow back. But you could do the tips, I would say. Hmm. I'm just worried it'll never come back. I'm so scared. I'm with you, dude. That's why, I, that's why I'm, like, worried to even shave my head. Because what, what I got right now, I'm like, I'll be fine if I can keep this for the rest of my life. But if I shave it and it never comes back, I'll just, like, oh, I'll, never, I'll never forgive myself. Greg, you look say. like you got a lot of questions. <laughs> I just want Kevin to Google, did they change the way Coke tastes? Because this ain't it, brother. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> ain't it. Right. They doing something. Do you want right. to have Andy taste the Coke and no, see? No, no, no. Have him pour it into his mouth again like he tried the other day. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, tough. that's not a bad idea. Did you have a candy not too long ago? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, that God. is true. Did you have a candy? Did you brush your teeth recently? No, no. I don't you brush my teeth on the morning? weekdays. Sometimes coffee. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going to ignore that. All right. Good stuff. Hmm. Something's up with uh -oh. this Coke. That's uh -oh. a bad uh -oh. Coke. Hold it might have gone bad. Let Nick try it. <laughs> it might have gone bad. I don't want to try his bad Coke. Nick, you got to try it. What if he's dying? Well, maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't really. I'll be honest with you. I haven't had a regular Coke in all right, fine. years. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna yeah, be fine. You, you try this. No, it smells like a Pepsi. <laughs> this want to scratch Are, the label off the side. <laughs> Blue shines through. Something's yeah, up, right? Something's kind of different. Kevin, did you leave these on the roof for a while? No. And it's crazy because like we drank the ones that were on the roof for a while, and it still tasted fine. So that can't be it. Maybe it's like when people have break a bone and their knee feels different with when there's cold weather. Yeah, right. Maybe it's like this. So you tell when it's going to rain. Because yeah. the metal pins, yeah. guys. The metal pins. It's very raining outside huh. right now. Well, something to look into. Kevin, just keep your eyes peeled. I'm having a coat. Melissa Hagler in the chat says they do go bad. There's no way this is that old of a coat. No, yeah, we just got it. I think they just changed the formula. I always, they, I always think of the same one. It talking. also sounds like a threat where it says recycle me, not that part. <laughs> and underneath it says see you again soon. Fuck off, man. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? You don't know if you're coming back as a can of Coke or if you're coming back as a fucking auto body shot. <laughs> <laughs> the whole shot. As a whole shot. The whole, whole place. place. The whole We're whole on place. Games Daily today. <laughs> it's all and Adams. And Greg goes, 
Uh, oh man, I don't even remember the setup. But but at some point he goes like the bump on a pickle. Yeah, I was talking about Tamar Hussein. <laughs> yeah, sitting there like again. a bump on a pickle. It's usually a bump on a log, but I mean, just like be both. Is hey, that a hey, is bro. that a turn of phrase? What, what is, it is bump on a log? Is a turn of phrase? I've never chat, heard bump on a chat pickle. straight up. Is that clear a comms, thing? Clear comms chat because I don't want you reacting to that. Have you ever heard uh, like a bump on a pickle? Thank you. Now, Greg, I don't know if you were looking at the chat earlier when you said this on Games Daily, and you're like, yeah, it's a Midwestern thing. Everyone's like, I'm Midwestern. No, it's not. And there was many of those. Not a single person had ever heard of it. Nope. <laughs> Said the hard no all the time. Heard no nope. <laughs> never heard. <laughs> never. No, no, no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. <laughs> <laughs> You are losing it. <laughs> Again. Like a bump on a pickle. The, I'm Joey, just, make the shirt. I'm just saying. Yeah. The evidence is stacking up. Uh-huh. That last night, taking care of Ben, I jumped universe. Yeah. Not into some crazy parallel universe where all waiters are lizards. But a universe I'm like my own. All right. how, how would they get the trace in <laughs> small? <laughs> They're big lizards. Yeah, they're big lizards. They're yeah. lizards. Something's going on. The moon is in retrograde. <laughs> I mean, we could do a test. See, this is where it would really come in what handy. What else is different? This is where it would come in handy to know your personal map. <laughs> what happened you're, 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 9-11 in 11 in this? No! <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> you did multiple times. Tim's pulled me aside and be like, no. he just goes there so fast. <laughs> no, we literally, like, last week, it was me, Nick, and I forget who. But it was like, how's the business going? How's everything? Whatever. It's great. And, like, it's great. How's Greg? And I was just like, well, he's making more than I want <laughs> So, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Saying if we can't laugh about it, you know. Just, I'm with you, Greg. I love that that's his progression. Like becoming the senile old man who like forgets more and more. He's making more 9-11 jokes. Oh my God. Oh, this man. weekend was a was a weird one for me because I got um, you know, if any of y'all were here for Friday, it was my birthday, and some bike Mike right bought a lot of snacks for me. It was like we did that Greg way. You mentioned you wanted like a gift. You want to gift cards to like Walgreens and shit. So he came in and decided to just buy a lot of spicy, uh, you know, spicy snacks, hot yeah, bunnies, yeah. all that fun stuff. And he bought a lot of nerds clusters. And I kind of forget that when I'm drinking energy drinks, those are sugar free. So I'm not getting the sugar rush. Yeah, I'm sure. getting like the taurine, which by the way, taurine makes you age slower. Did you know that? Tori? Oh, that's taurine. what it is, huh? Taurine. Taurine. Oh, that's that's what's in your. They say in a couple years. They say a lot of like uh, the animals have been tested with taurine, and they're like, oh, they're aging slower. Uh, what's it do for your uh, kidneys? Anyway, so the sugar. <laughs> back to the nerds clusters. <laughs> I started eating. Uh, I started eating just housing these fucking nerds clusters, and then like my body started feeling like hot and mm-hmm. like it felt like vibrating. Sure. And I was like, what's happening in my body? Right. I was like, oh my god, it's probably I shouldn't have eaten half of this bag of nerds clusters, <laughs> but it's one of those things that you just. Once you pop one, you gotta go. Once you close, you. I, I made the mistake of not the mistake. Hmm. I had the privilege of buying some peeps, and yeah, it's that thing we have one already. One. Oh yeah, Easter time. Yeah, Cadbury mini eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing: if I peep a peep, I'm buying it. All right, and then once I open a peep, I have one, and then I'm like, oh, I have another, and then I'm like, well, I might as well finish this whole fucking row of peeps. They do yeah. peeps year round. No, it's Easter time almost. It's crazy. They don't respect St. Patrick's Day. Literally. They don't. They don't. That is correct. I'm with Kevin on that one. It was like three days before Valentine's Day, and I look over and I see the Easter candy start creeping in the Target. Like, it just comes from the you back. You see an Easter bunny back there like, he's already here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really wild. But for me, it's not peeps. For me, it's the Cadbury eggs. So I see the Cadbury eggs first, and then you see the peeps next to me. You go, Who, why? Who would want these peeps? Cadbury eggs, the problem is, like, I can do one a year. I just yeah, gotta have the mini eggs. Mini eggs. Oh sure, with the the hard shell. Yeah, of course. I I do those till my tongue gets raw. If you get what you're saying, he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, man, if right you're there. a true fucking fat kid, you know that. Where you go long enough, where it's like, oh, I get the full bag, and I just <laughs> this is what herpes feels like. <laughs> you're like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? It's like I get it till my tongue gets raw. Yeah, God, that's I me with shot with sour patch kids. Whenever I decide to buy a bag of sour patch, sour patch, sour patch, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Can't talk so worth it's, it. Uh, Andy, it's so cool sitting next to you at the movie theater when you hit the line of like, I need to stop. Kevin, take it. <laughs> <laughs> I just give it. And, and, he'll t- and Kevin knows the system. He'll take like a couple and I go, it's all you, homie. And he's like, all right. And we just have like this. Of course. It's just thing. It's a little back and forth. I had popcorn last night. 
and I have popcorn quite a bit, but like I had popcorn last night mm -hmm. and it was a little burnt. Like it, you know, it, sure. the timing was wrong or whatever. For it's not bad, <laughs> no, and it was fine. But you want to know what, where I immediately went to? Mm. I was eating. And I was like, I, once again, depressed that our screening of Madam Web was a press screener and the, the food, the, the concessions weren't. Yeah, that was a bummer. Yeah. That, that was sucked. a big bummer. Yeah, yeah. The biggest bummer about it was that I was kind of worried about myself <laughs> because I had eaten a lot of leftover pizza before that screener mm -hmm. expected to show up and like one of those where i eat too fast and i still feel it like in my throat kind of i feel it like it has with pizza? it has not fully gone down yet sure and i was excited to buy a large beverage and so when we sat there and it, and you know nick was like no i got here early i got this coffee and greg was like i brought my water bottle i was like fuck i'm kind of screwed right now and I'm, I'm worried about the next two hours of this experience luckily nothing happened could have been a disaster. It could have been a huge disaster. Could have been really bad. Like that time I ate too much fucking Pizza Hut and I almost didn't go to Disneyland the next day. You powered through though. You got there. Couldn't we, sleep. We are all babies. All of us. Couldn't sleep laying down. Had to sit up. It's one of those things when I when I walked in, because I was like, I kind of, I always want concessions. I can't say no to them. Mm -hmm. If there's pizza or anything, like movies are just like, I, I just have no willpower when it comes to the movie experience because it's my favorite experience on the planet. So when I walked in, and our representatives that were putting on the screening, who are always amazing, by the way, were like, I'm so sorry, there's no concession stand. It was such a mix of emotions. Because on the one hand, I was like, no, I really you wanted like, me, yeah. pop. And the other <laughs> hand, I'm like, thank God. Because I, I just, don't have willpower to say no to pop. I had a similar I thing where I ate like a, I had a, like a, a you know, chicken breast on a salad or whatever at home before I came to the movie. And so I was like, oh, this saved me from spending a lot of money on concessions. And I was like, oh, I'm still going to buy concessions, though. Yeah. So it was the whole thing of like, I wasn't, <clears throat> I didn't need it. I just wanted it. Yeah, exactly. And movie theater popcorn, come on. Yeah, but but movie theater popcorn at eleven thirty. It's like that's where you start getting really conflicted about this. Yeah, you're like, do I really need this? And then is this lunch? No, I can't come with lunch. I'm still gonna go to lunch yeah. afterward. Yeah. My yeah. skin's it's feeling all stingy thing. right now. From the you, still you from the sugar? clusters. I had I had a lot of nerds clusters. <laughs> <laughs> drive over here. I feel here's I'm the drive over and the coat and the half of that coat sure, or whatever. Sure, sure, well, let's sure. have a real conversation about this though. I'm ready wow, for a real your tongue is. Just so blue. It's, oh my oh god. It's so blue. Jesus. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How raw is that tongue? You've been Cadbury Aiken? <laughs> look look, look what? Like you're doing something with the Smurfs. <laughs> you've been doing real good as far as like healthier eating. Not that I don't want to call you out for it, but I feel like you've been on a good a, a good tear when it comes to like making sure you're not snacking too much in the office. Trying to. Was there a part of you that was like, God damn it, Mike, when you walked out and saw your desk just covered in nerds ropes? and goldfish crackers not not even the normal size goldfish crackers the one family that would definitely size. do me in the family size where i eat the whole thing in one night part of me was like is he trying to bring me down yeah he definitely is trying My, well, he's trying to get you on his level which is the dual two to three iced venti iced chais per day four level. donuts and then followed by four slices <laughs> yeah, of pizza <laughs> slappy had four donuts then four slices of pizza I really slappy. the donuts need to stop i don't know who's buying the donuts and i really appreciate it i'm very thankful i also need it to stop no, i'm gonna call out one person in this office roger that needs to st well i mean always roger but they need to just stop messing with me and that's a blessing yeah blessing oh he does that weird one donut. donut then he gets two donuts every day yeah Eats one and then leaves one just in my peripheral vision. Yeah. And I see it and I go, is that for grabs? And then I'm like, it's one donut though. Who the fuck? It's, it's got to be blessings. And he's like, yeah, it's mine just in case I want a donut later. Oh, good for him. So it's like, not up for grabs. No, it's not up for grabs, but he leaves it well, open. Well, then it's like it's, stale. That's dangerous. You you put a donut out in the, the table because that's, and that's where he's leaving. He's table. leaving it on the kitchen table. Should we have a talk with him? Put it I on mean, the desk. I've had it multiple talks. I'm like, is that your donut? He's like, yeah. And then we just stare at each other. And I'm like, are you going to say the obligatory you can have it if you want it? Because I've asked about it now, and it's in the it's on the communal table. It's like if you left it on his desk. Like Tim, I'm not you could do the thing I did where one day I gave him $20. And I was like, just surprise me throughout the year with donuts. With donuts? <laughs> that really <laughs> happened? Really occasionally bring me I don't want the donut, though. I don't want the temptation. Of the donut. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like you do. Because well, that's my it. problem. Is like, I, again, there's like weak. Krispy Kreme donuts just show up. And I think it's Roger, and God bless him. I love him. I really love it. Might it might be Mike. I, whoever it is. Well, I this really babe, you're talking do. about the Super Bowl Krispy Kremes, right? I, I, this happens a lot. Like, okay. I, I have not went out and bought myself Krispy Kreme donuts in years, decade maybe, but I've had hundreds of Krispy Kreme donuts in the last couple of years. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can blame me for at least two or three of those occurrences. Where before work, I'm just like, oh, I'll just buy a little 12-pack. <laughs> I love it. And I bring it in. And then I eat, you know, three, two to three or whatever. But I, I know what you mean. Like, it's when they're there, especially when they're here during the Super Bowl, I'm so glad I only ate one. Yeah. Because there was a lot. 
Mm -hmm. and there was a lot of the good ones mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like usually, the, all the best ones go first. Which, like, even at that I, point, I still house the you know the ones that are the least popular. What, or what do you think are the least popular out there? Um, probably the standard glaze. I'd no say the least popular. Those are, the, those are my favorite. Those are the ones I go to. I, I mean, they're delicious. Those down. I don't want. I love them. I like a good pink one when they got I, the pink. Yeah, like Homer Simpson donut. The strawberry uh, sprinkle is like so ideal and so incredible. Man, I got I got I got set up at a donut shop the other day. How I so? Just got set up. <laughs> my buddy Janesh came by, say hi. He had a couple. Of, he, he goes, "You want to get a cup of coffee?" And there's, you know, we we were in Daly City. There's not a lot of like bougie coffee places <clears> to <throat> drive for. But he's like, "Hey, there's a really good. Um, there's a really good. There's good good donut shops." So I was like, "Let's go to a donut shop. We'll, we'll get a cup of coffee or whatever." He gets in line. He goes, "I'm gonna. I'll, I'll get you a cup of coffee." And then he goes, "Let me get a glazed." And I go, "Okay." He, Scarpino, you want a donut? You gonna eat that donut? Yeah, I'm gonna eat that donut. You know what? Give me one of those little strawberry covered ones, with little nuts on top of it. You know, I'll eat that. We're having a good time and drinking my coffee. I get all the way through my donut. I look over. He hasn't taken a bite out of his donut yet. He sandbagged me. He did set you, me did, up. He then said, do you want my donut too, fatty? Yeah. He was like, do you, you want mine? Piggy? And I was like, I thought we were in this together. Uh, he, I thought did, we were doing it together. He did something even worse than that, though, where he ended up eating half the donut. And then there was half a donut remaining. And Nick was giving him shit for throwing away half the donut. He said, I didn't throw it away. I'm taking it with me for, like, the plane. And I'm like... One single donut Bullshit. is going to last you multiple endeavors? Yeah. No way! No. Get out of here, you like skinny motherfucker. Different locations of the country. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Uh, it was, it's, you know what it's like? Llama spread for him. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. They got this bread. Lambus. Galadriel. <laughs> <laughs> Aragorn. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of funny <laughs> podcast each and every week. Four, sometimes five. Best friends gather around this table. Each coming to hang out with each other and catch up about life. If you want to catch up with us, of course, you can write in for free at kindoffunny.com slash KF podcast. Then, of course, get your kind of funny membership on YouTube or Patreon, where you get each and every episode of the show ad free. You could watch us record this podcast and all the other podcasts live as we record them. You'd get those ad free as well. And, of course, you'd get my daily video series, The Greg. Gregway. I've never seen Nick lose it like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just because when you buy into a pit, I love it so yeah. much. How'd it go on? How'd it go on? <laughs> Housekeeping. I just told you about the kind of funny membership. Right. And in that, I mentioned Patreon. Ooh. On Patreon, ladies and gentlemen, you can get this hat. This KFAF hat is, of course, the premium item this month. Tim's looking at me weird. I just want to say something real quick once you're done. Please go. Oh, is it not about the hat? Well, it's about KFAF. Yeah, Can I like, try out the hat? Yeah. Just the KFAF special that y'all did during the KF Day mm -hmm. 2024 Part 2. It was, like, I don't think we've had a chance to just talk about it as a group. Like, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Agreed. In my life. And just seeing Andy put his hands in this box. What was in the box? So many different things. But it was just a group effort, and it made me realize, like, th this is why the studio is so necessary. Mm -hmm. That energy mm -hmm. could have only happened. Me in the other room watching it on the screens live, saying, oh, my God, and Andy hearing me say that. I can hear Tim saying, oh, my God. It was so good. But the lead-in of you guys on the spot making the theme song for What's in the Box, and it simultaneously being a thousand times better and five million times worse than it should have been. <laughs> like, I, I watched the whole bit again with Gia, and we're just... Laughing out loud at the years twenty twenty five. A Tom was like, <laughs> Nick <laughs> always. Any of that. He says the years twenty twenty five, and he goes, Nick always goes to the future, and it's like it's one year in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what Kevin said? Kevin's like, oh my god, that dude, it's that's just so funny. It's so funny. So anyway, <laughs> then he goes support to 2026. this. <laughs> <laughs> the years twenty twenty six. KFAF came back. <laughs> Great, oh, great world. Oh, fun times, guy. We have fun. Just the beat didn't even call for it. It wasn't like no. a cyberpunk. Ding, 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 ding. It was just like a different beat, and he just still went to the year's twenty twenty five. You can get your hat to honor KFAF and its biannual return. Uh, Patreon.com slash kind of funny. Of course, thank you to our Patreon producers: Carl Jacobs, uh, Kishin Patel, uh, Nathan Lamoth, Karen Lindener. Uh, James Hastings, Casey Andrew, and Casey Kern. Today we're brought to you by Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and let's hear about it right now. 
We are brought to you by Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a standalone game that welcomes fans and newcomers alike. You don't need to have played Final Fantasy VII Remake or any other Final Fantasy titles to play and enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The combat is not traditional turn-based and has more action-focused gameplay, with even deeper improvements since Remake with new synergy attacks and team-based combos. And there are large open sections to explore with Cloud and his comrades venturing across the planet, their fates unwritten, making every step in the expansive world outside Midgar fresh and mysterious, and of course, there are dozens of mini-games. There's a story recap video of Final Fantasy VII Remake for those interested in learning more about the story so far, and those looking to experience Final Fantasy VII Remake fully can pre-order the Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth Twin Pack, which includes the game plus the DLC episode Intermission at no extra cost. You can download and play a demo of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now on the PlayStation Store, and you can pre-order the game in the link in the description. The wait is almost over. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is out February 29th. Get hyped. Are you all buying an Apple Vision Pro? One day. One day. Oh, yeah. But like, like this version of it? No way. Yeah. No. That's my thing. Uh, when it's glasses, sure. When okay. it just looks like this, yeah, I want it. Hell yeah. But right now, the ski goggle thing moving on? No, thank you. You do think that's kind of what they're going for, though? The ski goggle thing? Yeah. No. I think for now. But yeah, I think that the, it'll get thinner and trimmer but i i probably will adopt it sooner than their glasses like i think it'll still be the goggles while, when i get it 3500 is just absolutely like i can't justify that in any any world like if it was a thousand dollars which is a like that's not possible i would have one now like for sure and i wouldn't talk to you guys ever again or if i did you'd have to see my weird eyes <laughs> oh your fake little projected eyes i just i just i i <clears throat> I just see it. It's all over Twitter, right? And it's like Apple is doing what a lot of other people have done just way better, right? And way more expensive, which is usually the case. And I just could, I could not see myself. It would be like having a MetaQuest for me. It would be, you know, oh, oh, this is really novel. I have multiple monitors and I'm doing like, that's my workstation. And I could easily see myself just like slipping out of that habit after two, two and a half weeks and just going, yeah, it's a fucking battery and I got to plug it in. It's all, it gets hot also, especially I don't got AC in this room. So I got to open the window, you know, like yeah. I just don't see it as the most practical thing right now. It really does seem like something you demo, you try out for a week and it's cool shit and you just leave it collecting dust. And that's how I feel. I mean, is that why you're making the MetaQuest comparison? Yeah. Yeah, right. Where I like a MetaQuest, I think, is so impressive and so cool when we play games on it and yada, yada, yada. But it's like when I want a game, I don't think to do that. And so, like, yeah, like if I'm using the Apple Pro Vision, Vision Apple Vision Pro, uh, I don't, yeah, the monitor thing is what's cool to me, right? But like at home, I'm trying to get it off of my phone. I mean, I, I'm not even using a keyboard right here. I wouldn't do it as much. Like, I don't have the use case for it. Yeah. You know? That's the thing, though. It's like what you guys are leaning into. I think that the success of, Apple Vision Pro is going to come from the way that they're talking about it, which is spatial computing. You don't see MetaQuest and any of them talking about that stuff. It's more experiences of this. Like Apple's talking about this as the future of working, of productivity, of like using computers, and yeah. they have the ecosystem to back it up, and it works. And like I, I've seen, like I've been talking to Gary about it. I know Paris has it. Like just watching the videos they do, like they're actively using this thing because they have the use cases that fit their their life. Yeah. I feel like I'm one step away from that where it's like I, I'm like you, Andy, in the sense that like if it bothers me even a little, the convenience, I'm like, it's not worth it. Like I need I need it to be like a better answer, the best answer for what I'm doing. And I don't think they're quite there yet because I, I hear that it's heavy. I get sensitive about that stuff. So I don't think it's there for me now. But if it was a little lighter, the battery thing doesn't bother me too much because if I'm sitting like I can imagine using this at work and like having like I have a great monitor, so I actually don't need it. But like. Being able to uh, do the spatial computing stuff sounds really cool to me, but not three thousand five hundred dollars cool by a long shot, you know. Yeah, I'm not but yucking I believe in these yums. Though. Yeah, I, I hope it, for me it's very much the Apple Watch scenario, where when that launched, I had no interest in it, and I forget mm -hmm. what version I ended up getting. Where it's finally like, oh, this is really cool. They're doing a lot of cool shit in here. So I hope we get to that where I can look at this and go, oh yeah, that I can see me. But like everything that's shown here, I'm just like. Not what I'd be doing for or whatever. And to the point about the Apple Watch, I know I've talked about this to some of you guys a lot on Games Daily and stuff, but like in addition to the spatial computing thing, it really is just Apple making this a mainstream product and, and telling people why they need it. And I think that we're starting to build that in the same way that they did with the watch from like, <clears throat> why the hell would somebody pay for A, a digital watch, B, something that's not even going to work for 
the needs that they have it for to something that like absolutely does. It does everything that is advertised. It it works the way you expect it to. And it's kind of now just a norm that people yeah. might have an Apple watch or a smartwatch in general. It doesn't have to be Apple, but then the Apple ecosystem just builds on itself with the Apple vision uh, pro. I really think that the shift to spatial video, like <clears throat> the iPhone 15s have, you can record 3d video. So I can record this moment in 3d and then watch it on the <laughs> Apple vision and be able to have this in 3d. And it's like, yeah, imagine yeah. seeing Ben grow up and be able to relive the moments like, that much more intimately um i feel like right now it's a novelty i think that this is the beginning of it just being a standard and i think that it's because they're investing so much in it that it's going to be that way so you think they're committed the whole way what's up you think they're committed the whole way i do yeah yeah, yeah. i mean so far it seems like this is doing well and like for such an enthusiast product it's like really doing well so um in the same way that you look at a lot of like the iphone for example like obviously it coming out like it was insane how expensive that was at the time and now the phone's still very expensive. In fact, it's more expensive than it used to be, but more people are buying it, right? And it's kind of just standard because there's an app store and there's like uh, a ease of use of the language of an iPhone. Once the language of the Apple Vision Pro is understood by everybody, which I think is going to happen, I, I think it's going to be a pretty damn big game changer. I don't think everyone in the world's going to have one, but well, it's they don't need though, to. right? Because it, Apple's always been really, really good at solving a problem you didn't know you had. Yep. And then once you, you once you interact with that thing, like once the iPhone, once I picked up an iPhone, you know me, I'm a late adopter for everything. I had a BlackBerry Pearl I know. way longer than I should have had. Way longer. You know how it's been an Did it have a little wheel? Did it have the little ball in there? That was the pearl, baby. <laughs> that was the pearl, baby. That was the pearl. <laughs> Did he wink at you when he said that? I hate it. <laughs> I, maybe. I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> um, you know, but once you pick up the iPhone, you're like, holy shit, yeah, this is it. This is the next generation. So <clears throat> I look at this and I go, no, no freaking way. I'm never going to. I don't like it. I don't need it. This is not. I don't have an issue with just a normal monitor. Having said that, I'll probably eat my words five years from now when whatever this is picks up and monitors go the way of the dodo i mean maybe 10 years maybe 15 years who knows yeah yeah, yeah. i don't think it's gonna be like that type of thing but i do think it's gonna be a great solution for people not a requirement for like people, on a plane but... this would be dope oh exactly That'd it be, already is right it already is in a movie Before... theater awesome <laughs> 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 but, but... <laughs> stop it but, but yeah it's <laughs> what something that's very interesting to me as a home theater nerd tech nerd with like the you know with media um there's such a a leg up that apple has right now that like nobody else has which is they have the library they have the investment on digital storefronts and and platforms with things like apple tv and all that where right now they have the biggest library of 3d movies ever and all these movies that were made in 3d either properly or enhanced improperly or whatever since avatar like all the way through to now some of those like are just impossible to watch in 3d until now they're being brought back out if you have this you can actually buy them and get access to these things and like that is the type of stuff that like we're going to get more 3d movies and i know a lot of people don't like that but if it started like being a better experience and it actually didn't like hurt your eyes to look at and like you had the perfect setup with the headset that's a pretty enticing thing those things start adding up to being like, oh, there's the value. I can make the argument. I still can't make the argument. I'm a big enthusiast of that stuff, and I still can't justify it. That is the other problem with Apple, though, is like Apple is not necessarily known for like dropping prices on things, right? So if something comes out at thirty five hundred dollars, I don't. Do you see it going down from well, there? Yeah, the entry point, right? Where I see, I think there'll always be probably a thirty five hundred dollar price point for this. So you're but gonna, then, they're going to do the, the the Vision Pro C or whatever it yeah. is, like the fifteen hundred or two thousand totally, dollar version of that, right? Yeah. Or like think about it, like the uh, um, think of iPhones or Apple Watches, where it's like the Apple Watch was like a thousand dollars, and then now you can they're essentially giving them away. It's like two hundred fifty dollars, you get it, but like the amount of times there's deals where it's like buy one get one half get off the phone or, and get the watch exactly right. like they have so much right. of that type of stuff but then even with the phones it's like yeah like you eventually they start with just selling you last year's model for a little bit cheaper and then eventually they put out the plastic version that's like the c or whatever sure. and then it just becomes a bigger ecosystem i don't know that we'll get there fast but like i do think we're going to but i don't want that is it a is it a vr headset titanium version. no right what's up is it vr AR VR. So it does both. So XR. like you could like get the MetaQuest store on there and play a VR game? Theoretically, I don't know if you actually could do that, but I mean, yeah, in theory. Okay. So like that's the thing, is just like games be that's what I'm talking about like these pillars. It's like at some point it's gonna connect of like, oh, this all works, but it's the same way with Apple normally. It's like you can get a lot of the stores on a Mac, but that doesn't mean you can play every video game on a Mac. Right, right, you right. Know? 
Yeah, you can't yet. No games on Apple Vision Pro yet. They just feel... I mean, I just couldn't imagine not waiting for the more portable version. I think it is obviously super enthusiast tech so far, and when you're in that ecosystem and you got money to spend, it's like it seems like a no-brainer for those people. But, man, I just like... I think about wearing the fucking Meta Quest for 90 minutes and just... Taking it off, having the fucking red marks, be like, oh, okay. yeah, it just, it doesn't I, seem very kind. I, I mean, just feel like I need to take like a shower or something. I, I, I would love to ask people about what their long-term comfort level is with it. Sounds like not great. Okay, yeah, but, but the, these are the people <clears throat> who are committed to it. There was a dude walking around the di- rock, walking around dice, post dice awards in it, uh. with a, a battery pack or whatever in his pocket, just walk, wearing it the whole time. Like, all right, hmm. yeah, and everyone makes fun of him justifiably so but that's going to be the future people are going to be doing that it's going to I mean, be contrast that weird. with everyone walking around like this yeah or with the even the earbuds back in the day of just like it, it's it's easy to make fun of people like wow because really what you're making fun of right now is twofold with the Change. apple vision one of them is like you look like an idiot wearing this like weird future ski novelty goggles. ski yeah. goggles thing so it's easy to make fun of there but it's also like look at this jack has to pay thirty five hundred dollars for this thing that's always been the Let's case though him. somebody like making fun of someone for <laughs> Like, wow, did they really buy it? Like, when you saw someone with an iPhone, like, 3G even, it was just like, they really fucking bought that? Are they stupid? Oh, it's like, yes. well, they're living their best lives, cool. hopefully. Well, they, you know what they need to do? They got to have, they got to do the the sick ski goggle, like, gradient look on the front. Have you ever seen, you ever seen the big Oakley ski goggles they have where it's like, it goes like sunburst? Oh, yeah. From, like, pink to, like, orange on the side of it? That's yeah. what they really Well, the coolest thing that I saw in Michael was, like, five pairs of those. Was somebody being like, this is the only way you could justify walking around in public this way. And it was a woman wearing it with, you know, she had the big Apple Vision Pro, but she had like a long leather trench coat. Yeah, you, and I was like, this, that looks sick as shit. Like, yeah. that looks like, <laughs> super, like you can't have the Vision Pro with fucking dockers on and a button down. Like, you need to look cyberpunk in order to look cool. Yeah. For sure. And and again, I've, I've, I've been talking about this on streams. I've talked about this on a long ass podcast. I want to be... Uh, a long time ago on a podcast, not a long ass podcast. I want to be elect me for mayor for somewhere. Okay. Let me make a cyberpunk town. Oh, cool. I will make one of your strips. I will require every store to have neon signs all over the place. It'll be a big tourist like attraction. LED neon or real neon? No, real neon. That's real neon. Really? Neon? Oh, shit. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this campaign. So what? So I mean, yeah. we could think about like the education funds. <laughs> no, maybe to fuck the school. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe we pull away from there. It would Mark. just. I just. I don't know why nobody's done this before. It's a great point. Make it's it a, make it a tourist <laughs> trap. It's have it's you now have you considered cool going to Tokyo? I mean, that's so far away. Now. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so far <laughs> away. If far <laughs> Texas became the Tokyo of America, yes. that's pretty big. Exactly. And think about like there would be a we could do like the Cyberpunk Taco Bell like in in Demolition um, Man. Yeah, Demolition Man. Oh, sick. Cyberpunk McDonald's. Cyberpunk like a random ramen shop, random taco shop. Uh, Old Navy, <laughs> you know, like all of it. New Old Navy. Navy. Cyberpunk. Definitely. And then everybody's got Apple Vision Pros. Yeah, New Sick. Navy. And you, Navy, would be really cool. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, Newbie. <laughs> in the chat here about Apple Vision Pro, Zach has it. He says, it's amazing. I'm glad I got one. No regrets. And then he follows up. My wife has a strict no TV policy in the bedroom. Joke's on her, though. Now, now, though, I have a movie theater in there. I love that. Joke's really on your wife. <laughs> Want to keep that. her space for sleeping and being Joke. intimate. Now you got this fucking... Joke's going to be on your divorce lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really interested in seeing the theater version of it, because from what I hear, there's still um, the um, the bezel of it. You see a lot of that, and that drives me nuts. Like, that's my biggest thing. I, I care less about it being glasses. I care more about, like, I want to be surrounded by this shit. What do you mean? It, you see the bezel of the goggles? You see the, the like, black. The, go- the black of the goggles, oh. and I'm like, I don't want that. That, that sounds horrible mm-hmm. but it's like apparently the quality of the screen is like in i've heard it's like yeah you can't and i'm like that i love that stuff so if you give me 4k hdr all the stuff just no noise no lights all that stuff like that sounds great but uh we're we're a ways away from that but uh interesting use cases i've seen for it from the reviews that i've watched from from this which i've watched pretty much all of them because i'm obsessed with this <laughs> with i'm obsessed with finding the answer to what is going to be the thing yeah tim, like, like, tim is desperate to find the reason to you're buy on board you yeah. just needed the reason to and, push you and over here's the thing edge. i'm not going to like i and i i can say i can say for sure i'm not buying this thing for i'm going to put a date on it tim will be an apple vision pro owner pro. in the year 2026. Oh, well, that wouldn't that. surprise me. Well before that. <laughs> yeah. Really? That would not surprise ne- me. Whatever the next iteration of this is, Tim's going to have The next gonna one's going to be tempting. 
He's going to have to. <laughs> yeah. I know Tim because Tim, will, the, it'll have the one thing where he's like, damn, I can't not have that. No bezels. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Meanwhile, I'm over here and I'm like, maybe I should buy an Apple pencil. <laughs> I was like, I was, I, maybe I want to journal and doodle. And like, it'd be cool to save that forever. And see, that, that's a pretty example. Like the Apple pencil, I have no use case for that. I, I'm really bad at writing <laughs> just in general. I'm not good at drawing. I'm like, literally don't need this thing. I don't know if I've ever seen you write. You won't ever thing. see me write. It's absolutely horrible. I've seen Tim's like signature. It's, it's not great. <laughs> it's very, very. I might not be the great. worst writer in the world, right? Whoa. It's bad. Um, but this is also not a use case to sell me, but it is a use case for a potential potential future where this thing is is valid um is in the kitchen like i've the, one of the the reviewers uh, i think from the new york times what put a whole video out of them cooking and like timers up um uh -huh. in space and the timers would be above each of the different elements of like the i don't, know, so cook, I don't know what i'm sick. saying but like the water boiling Yay. and the pot on the stove and some other shit happening in the, the so you oven. can like place things you in place AR. timers on Got top it. of the things and it will like it reacts, and so you know where to look or whatever. And like, it's it was the coolest thing ever. And it's like, yeah, is that practical at all? Like, am I really? Is going Alexa again? really not working well enough for you to be like, Alexa, set a timer for pasta? Well, but it could teach you and get you to the habit of something. It works great for me. I yeah. mean, it would be very practical if you were cooking a big meal. But the downside to it is like, the, I can't think of a situation that's that seems more physically un more uncomfortable than steam coming out my face while I'm wearing ski goggles. Like, that would make my face sweat into the ski goggles. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's a heat factor that I would be like, I'm, I don't want to deal with that at all. Having said that, they'll get my money when they make, when they, they market a pair of these glasses that look like 1980s dad glasses. You know, the ones that go all the way down to, like, like you can lick them. them. God, I oh, would yeah. gigantic glasses. Lick up a little yeah. bit. You should, why don't you have this gigantic I can't find them. Every time I, 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 can't did, find all, them. I did a whole thing this time around when I got these new ones where I was like, hey, I want giant frames like huge frames biggest frame you can get and people would give me things and it was like well here's some fucking weird ass knockoff site and i'm like i'm not i don't want no i'm not like buying something from middle of nowhere you, you know, know what i mean it's like it's the one scene in the movie in the 80s where that the character has not worn glasses it's like i think danny glover wore glasses one time in a lethal weapon movie and they were so big mm -hmm. And it's like you didn't. They wear rest on your upper lip. They're like, literally, they're like <laughs> they were like down to here, and he had it just a little bit low. And he was like, there might have been a cigarette involved. Yeah, as well. must have been. Must and they were doing an investigation been. of some sort. It's like this is not going well now. Big glasses are popping off in fashion right now in Salt Lake City. I want them. Oh, uh, on the on the housewives. Yeah, but I mean, also just in general, you know, they are the purveyors of fashion, and it's really are big. you. I oh, I yeah. watched a series. Kev, can you pull up Salt Lake City glasses? That's all you need. to Type in. D and I started watching a series over the weekend called Feud, which is a Ryan Murphy show mm -hmm. about uh, Truman Capote versus the Swans. And the Swans were a group of uh, housewives in New York, I think in the 60s or 70s, uh, who were sort of the original housewives back in the day. Damn, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> they got the DreamWorks glasses. I mean, like the real housewives. No, right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. I see bottom, but yeah, down, exactly. down, like right there. That's how big I want. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I would rock those. Over here, Madeline Stanley says, Ali Wong buys oversized sunglasses and then replaces lenses with clear ones. You can do that. The, that that's probably easier to get. But, but again, like, I, I, I just, I'm a simple man. Like, I, I almost didn't get these glasses because I walked into Lens Crafters. And I was like, hey, yeah, I got glasses here. They're broken. I need new glasses. Okay, cool. And like we looked around and I... I pick these frames or whatever and then like all right let's look up your or it was even before then look at your, your prescription and he was and he was like oh sorry this expired like we can't and i'm like it ex like expired in november you have to do the whole rigmarole again I'm like can you print it off for me and they're like we can but like no one's gonna i'm like can you print it off for me and they print yeah. it off for me and while i was at lunch i like looked i'm like okay cool i can order all these because it's like you know order on lens crafters because yeah. you put in your prescription and then you go is this really a prescription yes or no and i go yeah, I don't give a fuck. and the guy called me the Guy's manager. What's the matter you? The like, guy's <laughs> manager called me back. He's like, "Hey, I got caught up on this situation. Uh, we can, well, the doctor will extend your prescription so you can come back and buy glasses." Well, I imagine they want to make sure your prescription is current in case because your eyes tend to get worse. Yeah. But also, it's come on, it's money making. Get the fuck out of my face! I don't care. Money making. Uh, I need to do a quick left turn on this one, Greg, because sure. I feel like it's very important for me to tell you. You're talking about the big glasses. It made me think of. I mean, I need your help on this, Jamil. From Ghostbusters, Jaleen, uh, Janine, J Janine, Janine from Ghostbusters. Yeah. I want you to know, not I, not a prayer. I was like, so I was like, Jaleel White, and then I was yeah. like, yeah. Ghostbusters. I was like, I got nothing. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Janine, what? Ghostbusters. She has glasses. Yeah, she, I don't yeah. even know if they're that big. They were, but in, they were in, in, okay. in, in, in eighty four. They were okay, big. okay, cool, cool, cool. So I was thinking about that. I um, this weekend saw a movie and saw trailers, and one of the trailers I saw was Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. Yeah, and uh, this is the first time I've now seen their second trailer. The one that y'all reacted to. Yeah, you weren't here. Me and Nick reacted to it. Yeah, yeah. So good. I, I just got to say, 
That was a damn good trailer. Right? Hell That's yes. not bad. Watch that the is, international trailer. International trailer is even better. <laughs> that is how you sell this movie. It is so much better than the first trailer. Yeah. And I'm also like, all right, this is what Ghostbusters should be in 2024. Let's just have fun and like make a world with characters that are just doing cool things. Yeah. I'm all about That's it. Yeah, what that's I'm talking what about. Thinking. Kevin, I'm going to slack you something too to KF Control right now, um, which is Danny Glover. I just wanted everyone <laughs> to see this. <laughs> Saw him in an airport this, once. He wasn't this, wearing this glasses. moment. Wow. Wow. No. You ever heard this story? No. So the story goes, it's one of my favorites, and it's because of the epilogue. But yeah, whatever. I saw Danny. This is like when I was still working at the newspaper, maybe even just fresh out of college. I don't know. But I saw Danny Glover in an airport. Maybe I was year one of IGN. It doesn't matter. But I was, I'm a nobody. You know what I mean? And Danny Glover just walked by at the airport. I was like, oh, didn't say anything to him, whatever. You jump to, I went back for a, a Mizzou thing, or maybe, like I said, I was still at Mizzou or whatever, and it's me at my friend's family's, like, breakfast table, and so it's, like, all of our friends slept over that night after the, probably, like, the Mizzou Illini game or something, and somehow, you know, because it's a sports family, they get on the topic of sports, and the people that these people had played in high school or with in high school then, then went on to Oh man, he's at OU now. He's oh, okay. playing for the Rams now. Like, and they went around the table, and everybody had a story that somebody they played with went on to do something great. And they got to me, and I just go, "I saw Danny Glover at an airport," once. <laughs> and I shit you not, not one laugh from the table. <laughs> and so they yeah. just moved on. And I got, I got a, one of the best, on. one of the best compliments of all time, where my friend Kyle Coppas was there. He texted me like a month later. I was like, I want you know, I'm driving by myself and just busted up at that, <laughs> just thinking about that. That was all you could relate to, and no one laughed. You at gotta it. give it to it. Come on, that was a great one, Kevin. Can you pull that Look back? The up lame real asses quick? in that room. Can you pull that back up. Real lame quick? This is what I'm talking about right here. That's the vibe that I want us to have for these Apple Vision Pros. Sure. Yeah. 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 See what I'm saying? I'm in. We get them, Andy. You be Mel Gibson. I'll be Danny Glover. <laughs> I'll smoke darts. We'll we'll smoke cigarettes all day. You I'll wear the for no reason. I'll wear a dress shirt, a tie, a sweater. And a blazer. It's a good look, though. In Los Angeles, California. Now, granted, it was supposed to be Christmas time, of course. Yeah. But in LA, uh, 75 degrees outside. So. If you don't mind, I'd rather not be Mel Gibson. <laughs> and, and he's fine. <laughs> I think he's fine. Did we, did we he bounced that? back I from all we didn't, that. We didn't, we didn't forget Mel Gibson yet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. He looked cool, though. Anyway, I, I would wait for the glasses, though. I'm with Greg. Yeah, I mean that you know when they announced Google Glass back in the day, and that fucking train wreck was on people's faces, and I was like, no, but I'm excited for that somebody's tackling this because this is the technology but I want. It's it's hard because right, you're fighting like the iPhone allows you to be lazy. It 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 allows you your life to be so much easier than it was prior, and sure. that's why we're all addicted to it. I just can't fathom what it would take me to get addicted to something that I have to make sure is charged. It's uncomfortable to wear. It just well the charge costs out because your phone you already do, yeah. But uh, that's fair. And this is think of it this way: this is either an extension of your phone or replacing your phone to some degree. But that makes sense. With the battery, is like it only lasts like two hours, right? For now, I mean, Greg's saying. I mean, the iPhone battery originally probably wasn't that great either. I mean, it's not two hours though. I I I'd, like you'd imagine that was ten hours, maybe right. That, that's the problem that was like, I think about it in terms of like use case where it's like, is it ever going to replace the monitors that I have at home? And I'm just so comfortable when I'm at home at my desk. I like to have them there. Yeah. Maybe it's nice to look away, from, you know, it's, get away from I it. hear you. I, and also you're talking to someone who gets up and pees a lot. So, but again, think about this again. It's the AR business of it, right? Where that's those monitors are locked if you want them there. True. But that's true, I guess. That's true. I'm, not I'm excited for the future of it. I'm not shitting on the potential of it. I, I'm not the use case for it right now. Again, I'm trying to justify what a seventy-five dollar pencil if I want to get it. I want. I still want an iPad. I haven't had a new iPad in like oh, well. 15, like ten you years. She has a little iPad, Nick. I want the I want the big dog. No, that's too big for you. Did y'all see the video of Zuckerberg trying dog. to like push his push Meta? Mm. I didn't actually watch it. What was the so uh, well so because all of the videos of uh, obviously every video that you would see on the internet was somebody using the Apple Pro, Apple Vision Pro, and making having a bunch of screens around. And it was Mark Zuckerberg being like, "Hey, we we do that too. We do pass through." And so and so somebody's like looking at him with the screens on, or like l looking at him through the pass through, and then they are bringing up screens. And it's basically him saying like, "Yeah, we we don't we're not just like a VR game thing. We yeah. do all that other stuff too." And I guess that's, I mean, pretty bad marketing by them because they hadn't even thought to do anything like that. It was all just. You know, play VR well, golf, play VR, whatever. Yeah, like that's the thing about the Quest, right? When I think about... All right, guys.
using it more than uh, for what the games we play here, review here, or whatever. The thoughts that like you can do Xbox Game Pass in there, right? So it, and I know the AR features of it, and whatever. But it, honestly, what it really strikes me a lot is so many people in our sphere have struggled, right, with uh, VR games and finding any success there. The way Apple's doing it and not even fucking touching that is such a Nintendo Entertainment System move to me, right? Where they know VR is kind of like Ooh, people think there's this ceiling on it, so let's double down on the features that aren't there, and then yeah, eventually, sure, turn on the Switch for VR games. I mean, that's. I, it's inevitable because look at it. What is Apple investing in? They're investing in games. Resident Evil 4 remake, fully playable. That's part of their big presentation of the iPhone 15. That's going to continue to happen. And as games just continue to, I think, grow up and down in different ways so that it scales so that everything is pretty equal, whether you're playing Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, mobile, at some point, it's just not going to matter, whether that's thanks to the cloud or just games are being made differently. Yeah. Um, I think that, yeah, there's going to be this like breakthrough moment of like, oh yeah, and guess what? Now you get to play them all in, in VR and it's going to, it's going to work and there's going to be an install base that can actually support it years down the line. But of course, I think we'll get there. Did we, did, can you show me what he was getting to in the video, Kev? Can you scrub to it? Or is it just him talking the entire time? It's huh? just him talking. Ah, the gotcha, time. Gotcha. Essentially, he's like, this is just as good. And uh, it's interesting because I think I've tried most of the VR options that are out there. Yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to try the Apple Vision. So I am curious to see what the pass through looks like and feels like. Because even with the meta, I, I, don't, I don't think it's great. Like, there, there will be some times where I'm home with Paula. We're watching a show, and I'm doing something like updating stuff on the meta, and it's like I can watch the show from there, but like as soon as it's like you have to read something on the screen, it's like I have to take out my camera, yeah, it's trash. You know? yeah. yeah, and that's a big reason why you're paying such a premium for Apple because they're gonna put the best cameras in there. They are gonna make that shit look. But does it look that much better? Supposedly, supposedly, yeah. Supposedly, the pass through is like or scary. You know? It's non. Uh, What's what I'm looking Bang, for? Hit up Gary. Tell him to bring it. Honestly, this is a question we should have we should have done this about 15 minutes into the podcast, and then he would have brought over. We're not going to stretch that. Let's long go for three more hours. Let's go get here. You know what I mean? It's also a windstorm outside, so <laughs> <laughs> the, the fix get blown off his face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's close out the show, ladies and gentlemen, by talking about me. Okay. Oh. I went to Vegas and I did the dice war. Winner, winner, chicken it. dinner. I killed it. But Good as I've already that. said. Thank you very much. You did great. We, I watched Mike watch you. I heard yeah. Andy talk about how great you did. That's awesome. That's, <laughs> I appreciate everybody's I watched support. Myself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But most importantly, that day, before the Dice Awards, long before the Dice Awards, I won $1,000 in Las Vegas, which I've never done before. Whoa. I don't gamble. That's a good amount of money. It's a lot of money. It's I, like one third almost of an Apple Vision. Program. I know, it was very close. Yeah, yeah. If I if maybe if we had done this podcast before then I would have immediately gone to the roulette table and just yeah. let it roll to hopefully get to three thousand five hundred dollars or whatever. But it was just one of the best experiences of my life. Because as you know, I don't gamble. So free money's pretty rad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you that this money was one hundred percent free. Okay. So what what did you put where did the money come from? The couch. No no I went Did to a meeting. A I went to a meeting with Todd Howard. Uh -huh. uh, he was like, "We'll come over here." Like you know, we, me and Todd bump into each other at SGF or whatever thing, and we always start a conversation, and then both of us get sidetracked by somebody else. So this one, I hit him. I had him like, "Hey, we're both going to be there. I'd love to get a coffee with you and just talk to you." He's like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." Blah blah. And so we're day of. I hit him up. I'm like, "You know, that's you know, do blah blah." blah. And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And so the casino that Dice was at or whatever had like you know the sweets, super super sweets or whatever they are, and they had like some super sweet lounge or whatever, right? He's like, let's me just meet there. It'll be easy. I'm like, okay, good, no problem. So I got there. I got my little cup of coffee. I sat down. I was playing on my phone or whatever. And so then Todd came in. And I got up and I shook his hand. Or I hugged him. I'm Greg. I hugged him. And then as I went to sit back down, out of the corner of my eye, I caught that there was a fucking chip in the couch. And I was like, that's cool. So I sat down, just y yoinked it, put it in my pocket, kept talking or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Had a great meeting. Yeah, Todd whatever. Howard gets up and says, where'd that chip go? <laughs> I, he, 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 I was there. Beat it. And I did it. The, nobody was on the couch. I had taken the seat. Nobody had been there for a while, blah, blah, blah. Got out into the casino floor, looked at it. A thousand dollar chip. Whoa. Some fucking high roller in there. Whoa. Keep track of so you thousand didn't even dollars. win it. I, I mean, I won the game of life. Yeah. That's, you know I, mean? that's I played crazy. the slots of the couch. I thought the story was, I, I took that chip to the yeah. uh, whatever. Fuck like, no. I, no I, so I'm this, was, this was the moment. This was the origin source point. 
to you being sent to a different dimension. Oh, you think so? You know what I mean? Yeah, this yeah. is a this test is where I from, universes? from the, the greater beings out there, and you failed. <laughs> what do you mean? This is, I mean, yeah, I'm no, in the great like, universe. I we got will the test his morality, and you were like, you know, I'm Superman. I had a conversation with myself about it. Like, what am I going to do? dollars, weird Coke. What do I do? I don't do? know, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I was like, what do I do? Do I go over to the fucking front desk suite, like, checking people and be like, I found a chip. They're like, okay. No, I mean, there's no, there would it? be probably no real way for them. Do I shout out? That. Hey, yeah. And then, it's like, like what's going to happen? They're going to go to everyone that sat in that chair. They're going to go, yeah, that's my chip. And then it's also like, what? The person who lost this chip is going to be like, you know where I probably dropped it? In that one couch. Also, what are you doing with a thousand dollar chip in your pocket? Go cash that thing in. This is where John Quin Quinones walks up. What would, Hello, you, what do? would you do, uh, sir? I noticed you stole that <laughs> chip. You decided I just to take... run away with my thousand dollars. <laughs> knock him down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at a certain point, did you think I'm going to go put this on? Oh yeah, there was a quick. There was a quick moment of one hand when I that. had it. I was just like, because one of the not one of the coolest things, but I remember back in my brokest of broke IGN days I went to some maybe it was when the mid midway was doing their thing in Vegas or whatever uh, and I, I went there and there was another uh, games person there in our group or whatever and we got there and he's like all right come I'm going to the roulette table you want to come I'm like sure I got no money he's like oh yeah don't worry so we went there and he's like a hundred dollars on black or red or whatever right and I forget if he won or lost and it, but if he won or lost he's like all right cool and walked away and he's like I do that it's any, the only thing I do when I come to Vegas I come there I do and I was like I hope one day that I'll have that much disposable income <laughs> that I can do that. Yep. And I did it once where I, I think Bobby like my first dice where I was like, I got a hundred bucks and I went over there. I'm like a hundred bucks on black and it came up double zero green and they took the money and I was like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought about it of like, what if I went over there and you know, thousand on red or whatever. Yeah. And then it was like the thing of like, yeah, sure. That would double it. Right. I assume mm. that's how roulette works. Uh, I, I don't know anything. About I think it's, yeah, I think so. Okay. It. But so yeah, it'd be awesome then to have $2,000, but it's like, then what if it, I lose and I have no thousand dollars? You know what I mean? Like the thousand, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a one That's in the hand. That's always the thing with one me in the hand. and gambling is I just, I, I'll never get it. I'll never understand the allure of it. I know that's exciting for people, but I just think people, because you can win, right? You go, why do you get, oh, you love, I love the thrill of winning. I go, yeah, but you could lose. And you probably do and lose. And you're probably going to lose. Yeah, yeah. Right? I watched a movie uh, a couple weeks ago. I've, I assume it's a classic because I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. It's called The Gambler. With uh, uh, James Caan. Okay. And it is a uh, s not so slow sort of downward spiral of what you would imagine a gambler trying to make sure. his money back would be. Starting starting on one night, he loses $45,000, and then it just spirals out of control. He tries to get it from his mom. His mom gives it to him. He loses it again. His grandpa disowns him. All these things that end with him basically just getting this violent altercation and then getting his face slashed up, and then the movie just like ends with him bleeding. And that is it. That's and I stupid. think about that when I get, I'm like, that's the feeling that I get when I think about gambling. Like, it just doesn't, it's not appealing to me at all. At all. Yeah. I wish I cared or that I was good at it or whatever. Do you though? Because at some point you're going to lose your fucking it just, it would be ha I, you know, Your, your car is going to be gone. You know what I mean? Ben's living in a potato sack. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, it always reminds me of that. Uh, this one Mitch Hedberg joke where he's, he's like, I saw a billboard uh, advertising a casino and it was like I won and became a millionaire he's like but that's false advertising because like that doesn't happen all the time that happened once it's like if McDonald's had a billboard showing somebody who died and choked on something <laughs> it's like you wouldn't do that and that's how I feel about gambling it's yeah. like that seems like such a rarity to to actually leave that place feeling happy and you always hear people make the joke that like oh I made a deposit to the state of Nevada today or whatever uh, yeah. and like I uh, you know, I hear about the airports that when you're leaving, they still have them. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never, I've never been to Vegas. I, all of that stuff seems like such a weird, like system to me. I don't understand how any of it works. Dude. I know that it seems as alive at 5 a.m. as it does at 2 p.m. I don't get it. I mean, it's all designed to keep it. you in the casino. But last time I gambled, I was on a ski trip last season and People that are just, I'm just, I just can't think of a worse way to spend time with people. The drinks suck. You're, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just feel like a mark the entire time. And then we were playing blackjack mm -hmm. and there was like a guy at the table that was kind of making fun of me. Yeah. And oh. Like, and I'm like, I deserve it because <laughs> I didn't expect that because I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. And I'm the guy that's like, it's like the black, the, the dealer will deal it out to you. And then they look at me and, and I'm like, 
<laughs> you know, like, what do I do here? They're like, well, if I were you, sir, I, would, I wouldn't hit. And I'm like, I guess I'm not going to hit. And the guy's like, are you going to fuck? Like, why are you asking them every single time? I'm like, because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I like, didn't know that that could be a vibe at a. But is if, it like typically what happens then? The person that sits next to you wants to give you good advice so you don't fuck them, right? That's the problem is like yeah. you. That's the, I was at the, uh, the first, like the position number one at the table. This guy was all the way at the end. Yep. So he was like, hey, your decisions really, really matter. Like if you take that dealer's bus card, that's going to be bad. And I'm like, I understand that. And I understand that concept and I understand that almost in practice. But like, I'm also just want to have fun. Yeah. And part of me is like, so, we're betting $5 hand, so it's money, but it's not like the end of the fucking I day if I lose you. five bucks, you right. know? First off, go gamble in the riverboat in the, the Mississippi River at St. Louis. Because when I did that in the early 2000s or whatever, it was the most like, I got to that table and didn't know what I was doing. And like the guy next to me was like, oh, don't take that card. Like that's going to, you know, you're in, and I looked at the dealer. I'm like, can I give you this card back? <laughs> and she was like, and the guy was like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and did it and then gave it to that guy. And so it was like the ridiculous oh. thing of like the positive experience of what you what I had, want. That's where I the want. guy was like, oh, don't no, like, they were just coaching me. We're all just fucking around these stupid hands. And then the other one was, I like blackjack in concept again i've never bothered to get great at it or good at it mm -hmm. and i play it in the video games a lot and what you can find the blackjack video thing you can play next to each other right and See, not, i've done that with my not, brother we not compete jen and i did that where it was yeah. us playing but it we're playing the computer or whatever so it was like we didn't have to worry about fucking other people over there waiting mm -hmm. for that card one 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 or two times when we were my brother and i've been to vegas together we've literally sat at the bar like in the lounge yeah, yeah playing yeah, the blackjack yeah. and it's just that was a blast yeah but then it's like, you just go, I just fucking lost $100. Yeah. I just yeah, wasted $100. Because yeah, you play long enough, you're just going to lose. The odds are that are stacked against you in yeah. that regard. I'm so much less likely to get, like, I didn't even consider the possibility of someone being there talking trash. Like, I'm <laughs> like I'm playing basketball at a pickup. Like, I just go play a pickup game, and there's somebody talking shit to you on the court. It's like, oh, I didn't need, like, I didn't need you to be yeah. here talking shit to me. He said something to me that I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just gonna let that it go. Sucks. Because I'm not trying to get thrown out of a casino right now. I get it, dude. But I was like, oh, man, you're making me lose this game like you're losing your hair. Yeah, he was just like, he was like feeling himself. You know, he was that guy, and he had a friend with him too, and he was that guy. And I was like, I got like four they were friends with tall. me right now, and I just don't want. I don't want this vibe. Like this yeah. is not what I'm looking at. You know. So I just, I ended up just leaving. <laughs> I was like, I'm yeah, that's the right way. To that's the right thing. To do. I just don't want to be. In you did the right thing right now, Andy. I don't remember exactly how this came up, but at some point this weekend, I was telling Gia that you go play basketball and like just go and play pickup games with people, and I have never seen her believe something less. She was like, Andy Cortez, you're telling me Andy just goes and like just meets people that he doesn't know. He leaves his house to go just play basketball with random people, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, he does. And she's like, I, you're fucking with me. I don't believe you. I'm like, no, he does. He actually does that. And like, it was funny because I had never really thought about it. That is a very anti-Andy Cortez thing to do. But you do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just kind of what, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. Like I, But it's what you do. It's what, is it what you do, though? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just surprised. Like, that is like, Oh, yeah. That's, no, that's, I, I know that's what you mean. That's a level of social, like, I would never be. <laughs> I, I know, I know the, what you mean. You know? There's, I mean... It is, I don't know, it's just a different vibe. When I, like, if somebody's playing out there just with the basketball and I have a ball too and I show up and they're alone and there's nobody here at this basketball court, I'm like, hey, you want to you wanna run a game or something? Yeah. And if they're down, I'm like, all right, cool. And I always preface it with like, hey, I'm, I'm out of shape. I'm old. I don't really, I'm not trying to try hard. I just want to get a workout and in. They just and they're always like, all right, yeah. Totally cool, man. You just Tomahawk play a couple games. <laughs> no, but then, you know, sometimes uh, there's that, the one place that we played 2v2 at. Oh, for the thing? The yeah, yeah, for, for, the, uh, for that one morning stream we did. Um, and there was, there's always like a group of kids out there. And I was letting them know like, hey, I'm old, I'm super old. I don't move very fast. I'm, I'm going to just try to play. I always count these kids out, dude. <laughs> like yeah, I was, dude. I got that old man's feet. I got the old man like agility. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm still dominating, still got shooting, ankles. shooting shots from deep. You know what I mean? But it, what the weirdest part? Here's the thing. I try to do the thing where I'm like, um, you, you all play video games. Every kid that I've met there is like, no, nah, my parents don't let me. They're like super That's strict with my thing. education, and I'm like. Wow, good for you. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, shit. I did, and they're like, yeah, like anytime I try to play Call of Duty with friends, my parents are like, no, nah, just keep on studying. I'm like, wow, 
like, you're gonna make are, it, your, are your parents available? <laughs> that kind of discipline. <laughs> you're gonna make it someday. You're gonna make it. I'm playing some ranked Call of Duty tonight. Oh, great. Like, they should probably teach you how to play basketball. Just <laughs> 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 fucking back them down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been another episode of the Kind of Funny Podcast. Each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table and come to hang out with each other. If you want to hang out with us, of course, the best ways with the Kind of Funny membership, you can pick it up on Patreon or YouTube. Of course, get every episode of the Kind of Funny Podcast and all of our shows ad-free. Uh, you could watch us record the show live as we record it, like all our other podcasts. And, of course, you could get my daily video series, Gregway, which I have to record right now, only with your Kind of Funny membership. No bucks tossed away, no big deal. YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny and podcast services around the globe each and every week for a brand new episode. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. <laughs>